I'm back with another video. Uh, this is gonna be the second round of the DJI Avada 2. I have already posted a video about the first round. On the first round, I did a penetration test uh, between the Avada 2 and the Avada 1 or the OG Avada. And you can check my video for the result of the test. To just make a long story short, uh, on 5.8 frequency, the original Avada did much better than the Avada 2. Uh, that's simply because I believe is that on the original Avada, on the OG Avada, I have the ham hack or the FCC hack going. I didn't do it on the Avada 2. So in the second round, I did the ham hack on the Avada 2. Uh, in case you don't know what the ham hack is or the FCC hack, I already posted a video about it. I'm gonna put a link uh, to the video if you wanna check it out. It is a little mod that you do on the gaggle. I mean, the whole mod takes less than five minutes. So, what are the big benefits of the ham hack? In case you're wondering, uh, you actually have two benefits. Uh, let me go over the first one. So, we're gonna go into channel mode. Uh, we're gonna go into manual and once you go into manual on a dj avada 2 in 2.4 when you're 60 megahertz uh, you only have one channel when you're in 40 you only have one channel when you're in 20 you only have one channel but when you go to 10 you actually have two channel to choose for so it's not really a big big difference on 2.4 but if you go to 5.8, now I'm on 10 megahertz. You're gonna see that I have seven channel total. And if I go to 20, I also have seven channel. If I go to 40, I got three channel. And if I go to 60, I got three channel. And the big thing about that is that it gives you the option to select uh, which channel as the best reception. But in this case, they are all doing pretty well. And also another big advantage of the ham hack is that it's supposed to unlock higher power transmission for your gaggle. This one is a little hard to prove because with the Avada, with the O3L system and the O4 which is running on Avada 2, the system manages the power. So we can't really determine how much power you're using. But with this test, uh, we're going to be able to see if you're act actually getting a lot more uh, transmission power, which means a lot more penetration. Uh, we're going to just compare the result of the Avada 2 with the ham hack compared to the Avada 2 without the ham hack. But for right now, what we're going to do is just make sure I'm in manual mode 5.8 and I usually like to fly in channel 1 for no specific reason. But you can see that all the channels are actually getting pretty good reception. But of course, the drone is right next to me. So let take off and let's see uh, the system with the M hack. Going to perform, and I'm just going to take our usual track. And of course, we're going to be paying uh, close attention to our beat rate. Why now we're in 60? Uh, sun sticking out a little bit. It's a little windy today. And one thing I have to say, the DJ Avada 2 suck in windy condition. The OG Avada fly much better. gonna come to our first stop here All right. so I can really think yeah you can see that's a wind that kind of moving a little bit but I would say let me go down just slightly lower I would say uh, bitrate is about, actually I think it's much better 
then when I did the 5.8 testing, we found the hem hack. So we are 60, pretty much in the high 50s. And of course, guys, you can see how far away I am for myself. So I'm not way that far away. Now we're gonna go to the corner. Uh, that's where the system really struggle. Uh, the corner is this big, big building. It is a gymnasium made up of both concrete and metal, which there's all these people here. Uh, let's see how we're gonna do. So far, we're still in the 50s. We're getting some quick drop in the 20s. Let's see how low a bit rate gonna get. We are in the 10th. Still in the 10th, mid 10. Uh, you got a little warning, orange warning on a gago, telling us, letting us know that our uh, transmission is not the greatest or reception. I'm gonna stop here. Ah, really? I'm gonna give the system a little bit of time to see if we're gonna wake up. But guys, I would say we are too hard now. Uh, I will say guys, I don't really think there is much of the difference. In the OG Avada, uh, the difference was noticeable between ham hack and no ham hack. But on the Avada 2, I'm not really seeing much of a difference. I am not seeing much of a difference as far as reception or transmission, whatever. It seems like Based on my testing, I say the only benefit you get is you're getting some extra channel. But as far as penetration goes, I'm not seeing anything major. No major difference. Let me go again for a second round. I'm gonna go back. We're doing fine on here, but once we get in this area, that's where a bit rate start dropping. I'm not going to stop this time, I'm just going to fly through it. Uh, we're still getting a single digit, but still completely flyable. So yeah, I would say based on my testing, I don't think you're getting much of, of an advantage with the ham hog on the DJI Avada 2 compared to the OG DJI. Oop, actually, I have a little bit of starter there. Now I'm going to try to do something crazy, which I've done with the OG DJI. I've had a two. i also done it with the... Now I'm going to go here, and we're going to try to see how we're going to fly penetration-wise all around the school. Now I've taken the Gago I taken the Avada 2 here on 2.4. I didn't try it on 5.8. Uh, actually, it's not doing too bad. Uh, B trades in the 30s. Uh, let's see what's our connection. Connection acid connection still pretty good. All right, and we're getting in if low 10 uh, let me pop out because we're getting low now we're gonna be back up so you can see where i was i was all the way over there let me go back so i would say conclusion as far as my testing goes i didn't really see any major difference between fcc hack and no fcc hack against the corner but I was able to fly around the school. Uh, Bitrate got pretty low, but still very 
visible i mean the visibility was still pretty good so stay very flyable so uh, that was pretty much it for this test just a quick little test uh, you guys let me know what you think but in my opinion i think that the fcc hack on the avada 2 except for giving you extra channel it's really not that big of a game changer thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one